What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We are back in the shop. <sighs> Obviously because I got another reel in my hand. That's all I've been doing for the last four months. Um, I am swapping out the gears on this reel. Uh, this, this is a Tattoola CT Type R. It came with eight one to one gears and I am swapping them over to five five to ones. Um, he wanted, um, he wants to use this reel for cranking, spinner baits, chatter baits, all that kind of stuff. And he did not want to go with an A1 to 1. So I found a gear set uh, for the 5.5 five, so he can use it for deep cranking, heavier uh, spinner baits, just, you know, stuff like that that uh, has resistance to it. So I'm going to go ahead and swap. I pretty much took the reel apart so you don't have to see that. It's general stuff. Um, it's not a terrible thing to do if you've kind of taken reels apart it is just a main gear and a pinion gear and you just basically change over um the drag and the uh the stack right here nothing too complicated on it it's not terrible looks like this reel has not been cleaned so i'm gonna probably just go ahead and do that real quick and then we'll get back to the uh, gear swap all right so a little bit long you know a little bit uh time went by there uh took the scat part cleaned it up just a little bit uh, it wasn't too bad so uh, so now i gotta put some oil on some parts Uh, we put a little grease on the gear. Before I set the clutch plate on there, the clutch kick plate, whatever you want to call it, um, which is under this main gear. Wipe that guy down. So this guy gets installed. Make sure it's flush. Good to go, maybe. Let me see. It should be all right. There, he's flush. All right, so main gear here. It's got a washer underneath. This guy is done. Wipe this washer off. Set this main main gear on. Put the drag back on. Wipe this guy off for any contaminants. Put that guy back on. Power back on. It's good to go. Put a little grease on all this stuff here. The oak posts, clutch levers, plates. Alright, so now I gotta transfer. The pinion gear is the old one. So that guy is done. This is the new one. Uh, as you can see, like the gears on very different. You see the teeth on them, very, very different. Much bigger here, much wider. Slides right in, put the yoke springs on the post, and then I like to put a little grease on those so they kind of stay in place. Um, this is Daiwa grease, if anybody's wondering. Uh, 
A little grease on the gears here. So now he should have five, five to one gears in this. Um, slowed it down for him for a little bit. He's good to go. Put a little oil on this bearing. This reel does have upgraded bearings, so I don't have to do anything with that. Put all these frame screws in. <clears throat> if they go in easy. A lot of times they don't, they're pretty tight, so just have to get them in there, get them lined up, start them, and then they'll uh, line themselves back in. But when you do it a million times, Seems a little easier. So here's that. Pull out grease here on the shaft support bearing. Drag washers, all this stuff. Wipe it off real quick. This guy goes on. Again, not terrible. I don't know if you've broken down reels before. It's not too bad. I've done a few, so. <clears throat> this guy's a little dirty. sure that's cleaned up put a little grease on the dra uh, the drag clickers <clears throat> all right put this guy on center it handle support washer Handle, handle nut. Assemble this real quick. I'm gonna take back part and oil and all that kind of stuff, but there is a gear swap on a Daiwa Tatula. Went from an eight one to one to a five five to one. Uh, as you see, it doesn't take too terribly long if you have any kind of uh, real technicalities or technical abilities. Um, other than that, that is it, guys. Gear Swap, Tattoo CT. Smash that thumbs up, guys. Post down below. Hope you guys have a good one. And uh, hopefully, guys, uh, let's go Cincinnati or something. I don't know. As long as the Rams don't win, uh, we're good here in St. Louis. So you guys have a good one. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace.